everyone, it's Miss Brittany and you're watching 321 Preschool Fun. August 9th was actually National Book Lovers Day and I love books, I love reading, I love learning about authors, the ones who write books and illustrators, the ones who make the pictures for books. And one of my very favorite authors is actually Eric Carle and he wrote tons and tons of books He's a great author, but he also makes a lot of pictures and illustrations for books. So he's also an illustrator. So I'm going to read to you a few stories by Eric Carle. The first one is Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I'm sure a lot of you have heard this story before. It's one of my son's favorite books. Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? I see a red bird looking at me. Red bird, red bird, what do you see? I see a yellow duck looking at me. Yellow duck, yellow duck, what do you see? I see a blue horse looking at me. Blue horse, blue horse, what do you see? I see a green frog looking at me. Green frog, green frog, what do you see? I see a purple cat looking at me. Purple cat, purple cat, what do you see? I see a white dog looking at me. White dog, white dog, what do you see? I see a black sheep looking at me. Black sheep, black sheep, what do you see? I see a goldfish looking at me. Goldfish, goldfish, what do you see? I see a teacher looking at me. Teacher, teacher, what do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a brown bear, a red bird, a yellow duck, a blue horse, a green frog, a purple cat, a white dog, a black sheep, a goldfish, and a teacher looking at us. That's what we see. All right, so our second book by Eric Carl is does a kangaroo have a mother too? Does a kangaroo have a mother too? By Eric Carle. Yes, a kangaroo has a mother, just like me and you. Does a lion have a mother too? Yes, a lion has a mother, just like me and you. Does a giraffe have a mother too? Yes, a giraffe has a mother just like me and you. Does a penguin have a mother too? Yes, a penguin has a mother just like me and you. Does a swan have a mother too? Yes, a swan has a mother just like me and you. Does a fox have a mother too? Yes, a fox has a mother just like me and you. Does a dolphin have a mother too? Yes, a dolphin has a mother just like me and you. Does a sheep have a mother too? Yes, a sheep has a mother just like me and you. Does a bear have a mother too? Yes, a bear has a mother just like me and you. Does an elephant have a mother too? Yes, an elephant has a mother just like me and you. Does a monkey have a mother too? Yes, a monkey has a mother just like me and you. And do animal mothers love their babies? What do you guys think? I think all animal mothers love their babies. 
Yes, yes, of course they do. Animal mothers love their babies just as yours loves you. Wow, that book made me very happy. It was so sweet. All right, next, our third book by Eric Carle is The Secret Birthing Message. Hmm, I wonder what the message is about. On the night before Tim's birthday, he found a strange envelope under his pillow. He sat up straight in his bed and opened the letter. Inside was a secret message, and this is what it said. And there's gonna be a bunch of shapes, okay? So when the half circle comes up, look for the biggest star. Below it, you'll see an oval. Behind that is the triangle. Go in, look up to find a circle, crawl through, go down the stairs, walk straight ahead to a rectangle, open it, you will see another rectangle this way. Climb up and through, that's where you'll find your birthday gift. Happy birthday. Wow, that's quite a letter. Let's see what it's about. When the moon comes up, oh, that half circle was a moon. Look for the biggest star. Wow, that one right there. Below it, you'll see a rock. So the oval was a rock. Behind that is the entrance to a cave. That's where the triangle is right here, the entrance to a cave. Go in. Look up to find a round opening. Crawl through the circle. There's the opening. Crawl through it. Go down the stairs. Down, down, down the stairs. Walk straight ahead to a door. Open it. That's right, because a door is shaped like a rectangle. Open the door. You'll see an opening. That's the other rectangle. Climb up and through, and that's where you'll find your birthday gift. Does anyone know what the birthday gift is? Look inside. I can't wait to find out. Oh, it's a puppy, and it says happy birthday. What a really nice birthday present, a puppy. All right, thank you for listening to those three Eric Carl stories today. We read Brown Bear, Brown Bear, what, will you, what do you see? We also read, does a kangaroo have a mother too? And we just read The Secret Birthday Message by Eric Carle. Thank you for joining me, Miss Brittany, and for listening to my YouTube channel, 321 Preschool Fun. Please subscribe and like if you enjoy listening to my stories and viewing all of my other fun educational videos. See you next time.